Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review plus on feet video of the Nike Kobe 8 in the brand new Venice Beach colorway. So as you can see, it comes in your standard Kobe 8 box. Let's give you a quick look at the label. You can see it's officially called the Kobe 8 System, size 9.5 US. The colorway is stadium gray, metallic silver, and tour yellow. And these guys retail for $140 US. Um, this particular colorway released just this last Saturday. Sold out pretty much instantly, but I was able to get a pair at one of my local stores um, for retail, so I'm pretty happy about that. And overall, I just really like this particular colorway. It goes under the name of Venice Beach, and to me that really doesn't mean all that much, but my immediate impression of this particular colorway was uh, an ice cream that I used to really like as a kid. Um, when you go to those ice cream shops, I'm sure they still have it, you're going to see that one flavor of ice cream, it's always got a different name, um, that's kind of multicolored, it looks like a rainbow in a barrel, and then once you start to eat it, and it starts to melt and stuff like that, all the colors kind of mix together, and it ends up looking kind of gray and really gross, uh, and that's really what this kind of shoe reminds me of. You have all those colors, your red, your yellow, your blue, and then of course it's mixed in with gray, which I found somewhat unusual at first, but the look of the shoe really has grown on me since then, and overall I'm really happy that I was able to get this particular colorway. It seems to have been one of the most popular colorways of the Kobe 8 so far. And, and there's been no shortage of great colorways for this particular shoe in my opinion. Um, so as far as the upper itself goes, it features a completely unique um, pattern. There's no kind of camo pattern, snakeskin or anything like that, um, like you're going to find on some of the other colorways. Instead it almost looks like tears or uh, almost paint streaks um, in terms of the pattern on the upper. Obviously you have your red, you have your yellow, you have your blue, and even where the, the yellow and the blue kind of combine to each other, you can see that there's a little bit of green there. And uh, it's just a unique pattern overall, really cool on the instep. But I was under the impression that these shoes were going to be kind of random. It was almost going to be like a tie-dye effect, where each individual shoe was actually going to have different pattern. But the patterns themselves on both shoes and every pair actually are exactly the same. So you can see that they are completely mirrored. There's no kind of randomness in the design whatsoever, which I was kind of disappointed in, but um, that's kind of to be expected with most production models. Um, nowadays, they kind of just make them exactly the same. I'm not really sure how they managed to get this kind of tie-dye look to the shoe itself. It is, of course, engineered mesh, and you can see kind of all the gaps there. And the pattern really doesn't match the pattern of the mesh. Um, so it's definitely an interesting process. I don't know how they do it, but all I know is that it looks pretty good. You do have your KB24 branding right there. And it's kind of difficult to see, um, but definitely a, a kind of a cool little feature in that engineered mesh that Nike is able to accomplish there. The tongue itself is in gray. As you can see, it's not 3M like you might think it is. Um, you have your kind of uh, lace stays there in that gray as well. It's a plastic material. The 3M on the shoe is going to be in the Nike swoosh on um, the outside of the shoe with that yellow outline. It's very, very bright 3M as well. And then, of course, you do have your Kobe logo in the back of the heel in 3M as well, which, again, it's a very, very bright 3M. You do have your one Kobe logo there with the snake around it at the, t the top of the tongue there in kind of a teal, yellow, and orange. Really cool looking. The laces themselves are yellow with orange dots, as you guys can see, and the lace tips themselves feature teal um, lace tips, as you can see, or I think they're called egglets or something like that. Um, the liner on the inside is kind of like an orangish red color. It really doesn't match the rest of the color on the upper as far as that red goes, um, but nonetheless still looks pretty good in my opinion. Um, the midsole itself, as you can see, is that teal color, as well as the external plastic heel counter there with the Kobe signature there in orange. Um, you do have kind of this gray or a stadium gray, I believe it's called, um, with your yellow Nike swoosh here on the instep. And the yellow Nike swoosh itself is kind of like a, it's not a reflective material, but it's not a flat paint either. It's kind of a unique material. I'm not sure what I would call it, um, but it definitely looks pretty cool. And you do have this kind of fused band going around the tips of the toe, which kind of gives it a unique look on this particular colorway because it kind of makes it look a little bit fuzzy around the edges. Not fuzzy, I mean I mean to say like blurry um, in comparison to the rest of the upper that doesn't have this kind of fused layer over top. And it almost has a little bit of a sparkle to it, which is kind of unique and something that you can really only see in person. As far as the outsole itself goes, you can see that it is completely translucent or icy, if you will. You have your one Kobe logo right there on the outside, and pretty much the same Kobe traction pattern you're going to find on any other Kobe 8. You do have this kind of circle there in teal with your Kobe logo in the middle in orange, your black carbon fiber, glass fiber, whatever type of composite you want to call it. Shank is right there through the middle, and again, it's just pretty much your standard Kobe 8 traction pattern with a translucent outsole, which I think looks pretty good. Um, as far as the insole itself goes, there is no insole on the Kobe 8, as a lot of you guys might know. It is teal. I'll actually pull it out for you really quickly. This is pretty much all of your cushioning right here. 
It's basically a giant Lunar Lawn insole. Um, there's no liner at, at all. You can see you do have your Kobe 8 logo. Kind of like a snake scale pattern going all the way through to keep your foot from sliding around. It says Kobe there on the one side. And then on the instep, you can see the Lunar Lawn branding. And it's kind of textured going across the bottom. You can see the sizes there. And it's pretty much just one giant chunk of Lunar Lawn cushioning foam. And it uh, really does work well and provides a very comfortable feel. And it's part of the reason why I'm such a big fan of this particular shoe. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as the unboxing portion of this video goes. And I move on to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes look. All right, here's a look at the Kobe 8s on feet. Really big fan of how this shoe looks. Um, it's a very simple design, but looks a lot more complicated in this Venice Beach colorway. Um, from a comfort standpoint, this is a very, very comfortable pair of shoes. That entire footbed is made from Lunar Lawn foam, which is really, really cushioned, really soft to wear. And after you wear them a couple times, it will soften up even more. So overall, just a very comfortable pair of shoes. As far as sizing goes, I'm wearing my usual size 9.5 here. And in the toe box area of the shoe, it definitely is a little bit more snug than your average shoe. Um, so if you do like a tighter fit like I do, I would recommend sticking true to size. But if you want a more roomy fit, I would definitely go a half size up. Just to be safe if you don't have the option to try them on in store. Um, so, like I said, as a pair of summer shoes to wear with shorts, definitely a good look in my opinion. And I'll move on next to what they look like with a pair of pants. I'm not sure if the Venice Beach colorway lends itself well to wearing with a pair of pants. I think the colors themselves are bright, the look of the shoe is very unique, and overall I would say this is a pair of shoes that you probably want to wear most often with shorts in the summertime, just because they have that kind of vibe about them. Um, but that's pretty much it as far as what they look like on feet, and I'll move on next to my final thoughts. Alright guys, that's it for my review plus on feet video of the Nike Kobe 8 in the Venice Beach colorway. Unfortunately, these guys pretty much sold out everywhere the day of their release, so your only chance to really get a pair at this point is going to be on eBay, but you will most likely have to pay over retail to get a pair. Um, if you do want to see some high quality images of this pair right here, get a better idea as to what it actually does look like in person, be sure to check out the high quality images on the review page on my website, which you can find linked down below in the description. If you have any questions regarding the shoe, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you did enjoy the video, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Links to all of my social media can be found down below in the description. And other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.